We usually associate EVs with Elon Musk. But in this scenario, another category of financial product has caught the attention of Elon Musk, the cryptocurrency. But that's that. Recently, it has paved the way for controversial issues involving Elon Musk. Hi, VeChain lovers. Welcome to VeChain Land, your daily dose of VeChain. If you're interested in everything around VeChain, this is the place for you. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more VeChain news. And let us know in the comments how much you think VeChain will cost by the end of the year. Let's get to it. Welcome again, enthusiasts. So today's topic might give you a bit of a shock because our Doge father, Elon Musk, has not only made a hit on Bitcoin or Dogecoin, but VeChain VET, too, might probably creep into his fist. VeChain VET is a perfect match for Elon Musk's Tesla. To affirm this hypothesis, you have to watch till the end. Skipping in between won't do any good. If you want to get the gist of the whole topic, please stay till the end. Alright, we're good to go. VeChain is a blockchain platform that's more specifically related to business processes. It is a supply and logistics blockchain, built for businesses to track inventory from start to the point of sale. The whole world has grave concerns for the environment, but needless to say, the amount of effort that we put into maintaining and developing the concept of a balanced ecosystem and sustainable development has been limited to printing those in textbooks for students to learn. In most cases, we're helpless. Even though we use unleaded petrol and compressed natural gas as fuels for vehicles, the rate of pollution just wouldn't lower down. And this might be a reason why Elon Musk said that his company would not accept Bitcoin as payment. There is a substantial reason behind this decision. Bitcoin mining is harmful to the environment. In a tweet, the Tesla chief executive said that the company had become concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Believe it or not, Bitcoin mining has overtaken entire countries in power consumption. According to metrics from the University of Cambridge, the electricity used in Bitcoin mining each year exceeds the annual consumption of Ukraine and Sweden. Bitcoin mining consumes roughly 133 terawatt hours of energy, making up around 0.61% of global electricity consumption. As a result of this hustle, the price of Bitcoin dropped around 15%. In a response to a tweet from someone with the handle at CryptoWhale, Musk suggested that Tesla would sell its cryptocurrency holdings, or may have already done so. That tweet made the price of Bitcoin drop to its lowest level since February. Bitcoin dipped nearly 8% to around $44,000 per coin. He later tweeted that the investment of $1.5 billion made in Bitcoin by Tesla in February 2021 still holds good and wouldn't be selling any coin. Musk said, Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy, he added. Even though the price of Bitcoin went down drastically, the motive behind it is appreciable and could prove to be an inspiration for other companies that may shift towards greener and more sustainable products. Market leaders such as Nike, Adidas, H&M and Amazon are already placing sustainability at the forefront of their global product and marketing strategies. VeChain 2 has created a blockchain to counteract the issue of sustainability. VeChain's blockchain-enabled sustainability solution revolves around promoting a value-based approach for businesses to become parallel with sustainable practices during the supply chain and manufacturing process. Blockchain technology is not only capable of showing the strength of their sustainable practices to consumers, but also to financial regulators and policymakers. The VeChain blockchain-enabled sustainability solution is built on VeChain's blockchain as a service platform, VeChain Toolchain. VeChain Toolchain is characterized by its high standardization, low cost, and flexible payment in the market, and is easily implemented by businesses in every sector. There's also another solution that spreads awareness regarding the harmful effects of carbon in the air. This is known as the Digital Carbon Ecosystem Solution. VeChain's Digital Carbon Ecosystem is a groundbreaking blockchain and IoT-powered carbon reduction platform, which utilizes economic incentives to encourage both individuals and enterprises to participate in the reduction of carbon emissions. This has spurred many other enterprises to join this movement, such as BYD, the largest electrical vehicle manufacturer in the world. 
Haya, the largest appliance manufacturer in the world. Norway, in a BODIG and Renji hospital, have made continuous efforts to further their vision. VChain has revealed that the new solution that upholds sustainability offers enterprises a vast array of benefits, including transparency and consistency of information, promoting trust and confidence between brands and consumers, and many other benefits too. VChain has also made an offer that the companies that adopt its blockchain-enabled sustainability solution will have access to cutting-edge third-party services from its growing list of partners, including DNVGM, Grant Thornton, and others. As said before, Bitcoin is criticized due to its large consumption of power. One of the reasons behind it could be the use of the proof-of-work algorithm. There are two primary disadvantages to proof-of-work systems. The first is that they waste energy, which is bad for the environment. As computers perform extra computational work, additional electricity is used. This can add up to an extremely large amount of excess electricity consumption. The second major drawback of proof-of-work blockchains is security. Proof-of-work blockchains provide adequate security only if there's a large network of miners competing for block rewards. If the network's small, the possibility remains that a hacker could gain a simple majority of the network's computational power and stage what is known as a 51% attack. One way to solve this problem is to mine tokens using sustainable energy, but this cannot be implemented throughout the world, since fossil fuels are quite cheap and people would continue to mine it legally if it were to be stopped. So, a better alternative would be to mine altcoins that are reported to solve some of these issues. Also, using a proof-of-stake algorithm would be preferable to mining coins without requiring much energy production. Proof-of-stake is seen as less risky in terms of the potential for miners to attack the network, as it structures compensation in a way that makes an attack less advantageous for the miner. It may be quite difficult to think of sustainable energy sources because many deem them expensive. It may be true, but we cannot depend on non-renewable natural resources forever. It will, at some point in time, get exhausted and there would be none for the generation to come. This is totally against the concept of sustainable development. If we want to transition to sustainable energy sources and maintain our current energy infrastructure, we have to find a way to convert the energy from the sun and wind into fuels. One solution is to convert sustainable electricity into solar fuels. This is what Quinn Ong and her colleagues have been researching. Quinn Ong is a third-year doctoral student at the Dutch Institute for Fundamental Energy Research, a leader in solar fuel and fusion energy research. So, this is a new concept that can be instilled in the minds of people, looking out for environmentally friendly ways of mining coins. Coming back to VeChain, the digital carbon ecosystem has created a tremendous wave in the heart of people that more enterprises express their interest in joining the ecosystem. In order to bring forth these mass adoptions, VeChain will collaborate with legislators from environment-conscious countries to facilitate building carbon reduction schemes and the adoption of carbon credits from enterprises and national governments. On September 1, 2019, the WeChat mini-program Quing Tan Hui Life was officially launched, making the digital carbon ecosystem ready to reach out to over 1 billion WeChat users in China. Quing Tan Hui Life also introduced green energy, a non-blockchain version of carbon credits, to lower the onboarding barrier and attract as many enterprises and individuals as possible at an early stage. Users are allowed to earn green energy by participating in a variety of carbon reduction activities, such as walking and recycling. Elon Musk has donated $100 million to fund a competition to find new ways to remove carbon from the air or water in a bid to help fight climate change. The race for the prize, the largest in the X Prius history, will start on Earth Day and will run for four years through 2025. Musk has spoken often about his vision for a future with less greenhouse gas emissions. Musk also founded his company SpaceX in part to make humanity a multi-planetary species, ensuring the long-term survival of people. This is what binds Tesla and VeChain. Both of them stand for global carbon footprint and also uphold the concept of sustainability. While Elon Musk is looking forward to creating coins that are mined using sustainable energy, VeChain is expanding its hold by introducing various implements such as the blockchain-enabled sustainability and digital carbon ecosystem. This would ensure that the supply chain and manufacturing process undergoes key stages that are effective sustainable practices, such as recycling, 
processing, reusing, inspection, and more. Well, we can say that VeChain has almost everything that Elon Musk could possibly imagine while creating a global ecosystem. So, we've come to the end of the video. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Elon Musk investing in VeChain. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time at VeChain Land.